right, guys. Black is here. Hey, listen. Um, this is a AC update. <sighs> Long story short, the air conditioning is working fine now. It's working fine now. I'm not having any more problems out of it. So what did I do to get to this point? Okay, the last video I made, I think I told you all that the Cool Ray guy had come out here. I found out he was a drug addict. And he was supposed to have added a little Freon or put a little whammy on it to make it work better. And it really didn't seem to work any better. And then he charged me $215, okay? What I decided, now he claimed that the condenser was too small for my house. You know, I have a two-ton Goodman condenser. He said that the condenser is too small. My house is a 2,700 square feet house, and I need at least a three and a half ton condenser. Yet, when my house was made, built in 1993, it came with a, well, I'm not, I'm, it has a two ton evaporator. That I know because it has the original evaporator upstairs. I don't know what the condenser was. I'm assuming it was it was a ring evaporator. So I'm assuming it was a ring condenser outside. So I'm, if you put in a two ton evaporator, I will assume you put a two ton condenser, but I don't know because I didn't buy the house originally. But anyway, he claims that I need at least a three and a half ton. This two ton is just too small to cool the house. Well, you know, when I first installed this system, I went to an air conditioning place and I told him I had a two ton Goodman evaporator. He gave me a 57 piston and it didn't cool hardly. It didn't cool. It did, it did not cool. So I went back and I told him I had a three ton condenser and he gave me a 0 0.6 to 7 and it cooled a lot better. So then I'm thinking to myself, what would happen if I tell him I have a three and a half ton condenser? And I said, you know what? I'm just going to ask for a 71. I'm just going to guess. So I went back and I bought a 0 0.71 piston. This is not it. This is the 0 0.57. The point six is seven is upstairs. I forgot to bring it down. But I put a point seventy one piston in it Monday. I vacuumed down the system. Uh, I think I vacuumed it down to sixteen hundred microns. For I didn't feel like waiting. It was starting to get hot, and I know it's not leaking because all I did was unscrew this this one little valve and put the piston in and screw it back. I'm sure it's tight. So it wouldn't leak it before. It shouldn't leak now. So I just, I, I think I ran the vacuum for about 30 minutes. Like I said, it was down to like 1,600 microns. And I just opened up the condenser and flooded, put the Freon back into the system, started it up. And now my house is cooling better than it was with the 67. Now, I don't want a really, really cold house. I don't really like a whole lot of air conditioning. I don't like being cold. Now, right now, I had, it's on 76, and I think it came on maybe twice today. It's like maybe 11 a.m. It hadn't really started to get that hot. But the point I'm making is, it's a two-ton Goodman condenser. And everybody saying you cannot cool your house with the two ton. But when I change the piston, the two ton works fine. So I'm wondering, what's up with that? I mean, do you really need a three and a half ton or just the people selling folks three and a half ton? If you're someone that like to have your house a refrigerator inside, Maybe you do need a three and a half ton. But like I said, I'm happy with 76, maybe 75. So my two ton works just fine. Now, how long so you say, well, it's gonna, it's gonna overwork, it's gonna burn out.
The people who say that don't understand how condensers work. My two-ton condenser, whether it's pumping through a 57, a 67, or a 71, it's going to pump out the same amount of freon. It's just that piston is going to restrict how much returns to the system, to the condenser. That's all it does. It's going to pump out the same amount. It's not a variable speed or anything like that. It's a single speed. So to be honest with you, it probably is under less stress with the 71 than it would be with the 57 because the 71 allows more freon to circulate through the system. So how the hell is it going to be overworked? But then some people will say, well, it, it's pumping through a large house. But again, the size of the house does not matter to that condenser. It's still going to pump out the same amount of freon. And again, before I've learned what I've learned, I would believe that bull crap too. Again, this is the reason why I say I tend to learn more than the average person because I don't just go by the book. I go outside the book, you know, and I'm happy with it. I come home last night. I, I cut the air. I cut the temperature up to 79 because I wasn't home for what? Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So I get home Friday, well, I get home Thursday night, and it was 79 degrees inside. The air conditioning was not running. I came in, turned it up to 76, and it ran for probably an hour, maybe, and then it shut off. Surprised me, because before, before I changed that piston, hell, it run two, two hours trying to get it down to 76, and last night, it only ran for like an hour, you know, so I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, can I go lower than 76? I'm sure I can. But again, I don't really like a cold house. I just don't like it. I don't sleep well. with a, I wake up with my, my sinuses bothering me. You know, and I, I slept good last night. At 76, I slept wonderful. But anyway, if I have any more problems or whatever, I will let you all, you know I'm going to let you know. If you have any questions or comments, any questions or comments, let me know. Also, you know, this is the same condenser that I had put the 134 in. This is the same condenser people claim that the 134 was going to kill it. As a matter of fact, you know, I told you in the video, I had a YouTuber who offered me a full container of um, 410. He told me not to tell nobody who he was or whatever. He asked me the other day, was my condenser still running fine? Because I had put that 134 in there. Because someone told him that I had killed my condenser by putting the 134 in there. Condenser run fine to me. I mean, it's pumping up pressure, pumping up heat. I mean, pumping out heat or whatever. It runs fine. I mean, have I shown the light? I don't know. We'll find out. But again, have any questions, comments, let me know. Dre, y'all have a good day.